content kids, I'm Pastor Grace, and I'm so glad to be with you today. God is here with us, so let's start our worship service by lighting this candle. Today's Bible story is about a man that many people didn't like. They called him a sinner, which is funny because aren't we all sinners? Don't we all make mistakes and do things we shouldn't? We all have sin and we all make bad choices that keep us away from God. That's why Jesus came to save us. He came for everyone. This is what we think about during the season of Lent, how he died for us on the cross to make a way for us to be with him forever. Today's Bible story is about what happened when Jesus met a man with a sinful heart. His name was Zacchaeus, and the Bible tells us that he was a short man who was a tax collector. His job was to collect money that people had to pay to the king. So, people didn't like him at all, not one bit. But Zacchaeus took more money from people than he was supposed to. If someone was supposed to pay one coin to the king, Zacchaeus made them pay two coins and would keep one of the coins for himself. Two coins? And that is called stealing. Zacchaeus was rich and had lots of money, but nobody wanted to be his friend because he stole money from them. Let's read the story in our Jesus Storybook Bible. There once was a man who didn't have any friends. None. Do you have any friends? Well, of course you do but not Zacchaeus. Poor Zacchaeus didn't have any. You're probably wondering why. Was it because he was so short? That's not a reason not to like someone. Was it because he had a name that was hard to say? Well, neither is that. Even though he was short and he did have a funny name, that wasn't it. No, people didn't like Zacchaeus because he stole their money. Zacchaeus collected taxes. Taxes were what people had to pay to the king. But Zacchaeus took more than he was supposed to and kept extra money for himself and made himself rich. Everyone knew what he was up to and it made him cross and grumpy. They didn't like Zacchaeus one bit. So they made sure he knew it by doing things like avoiding him and walking on the opposite side of the street and pretending not to see him and whispering things like, there's that nobody who thinks he's a somebody loud enough so he could hear. Anyway, one day a huge crowd gathered by the road. Jesus was coming to their town and everyone wanted to see him. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus too, but everyone was too tall. He tried jumping up and down, but that didn't work. He couldn't see a thing. Luckily, Zacchaeus had a good idea. I'll climb that sycamore tree, he said. So he did. He was surprisingly good at climbing trees for a man who was so unusually short that he had to take a flying leap just to get into the chair in the morning. From the tree, Zacchaeus had the perfect view all the way down the road. Another minute and suddenly Jesus was at the tree. He stopped and looked up. Zacchaeus saw Jesus and Jesus saw Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, Jesus said, I'd like to come over to your house. Zacchaeus almost fell out of the tree. Come over to his house? 
no one ever wanted to come anywhere near his house, let alone inside it. The people saw this, and needless to say, it made them even crosser and grumpier than usual. They mumbled and murmured and muttered, "Why is Jesus being kind to that big sinner? Doesn't Jesus know about him?" Zacchaeus scrambled down and took Jesus to his house. He was in a big hurry because he didn't want Jesus to change his mind. Perhaps Jesus hadn't heard about him. Perhaps Jesus didn't know about how he had been stealing, and how no one liked him, and how he didn't have any friends. But Jesus knew. He knew all about Zacchaeus. And the stealing and everything, and he still loved him. Zacchaeus was ashamed. Lord, he said, turning pale, what I've done is wrong. But now I want to do the right thing. I will give the money back to everyone, four times what I stole. And that's just what he did. Jesus smiled. My friend, he said, today God has rescued you. Jesus loved Zacchaeus when nobody else did. He was Zacchaeus' friend even when no one else was, because Jesus was showing people what God's love was like: His wonderful, never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. Wow! Jesus did a wonderful miracle. Only Jesus has the power to take a sinful heart and give us a new, clean heart. His love changed Zacchaeus' heart, and it can change our hearts too. Now let's do our teaspoon prayers. Tea reminds us to give thanks. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us so, so, so much. S reminds us that we are sorry. Sometimes we mess up, and we need to say sorry and ask God for forgiveness. Sorry for making bad choices, like sometimes lying or even stealing or not listening to our parents. P reminds us to say please. Jesus, please change our hearts and help us to love people like you do. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let's head over to our activity corner. Hi, tenth kids. I'm Nathan, and I'm so glad to be with you at our activity corner. For our activity today, we will be making a fun craft to remind us of our Bible story. You will need this template, a Zacchaeus cutout, some tape or glue, markers, and a few pieces of green tissue paper. First, use a bit of glue to stick the green tissue squares all over the top of the tree, like leaves. So we can glue here and here, and I'm gonna stick more glue there. There we go. As our leaves are going to be drying, we're going to color in Jesus and Zacchaeus, and even the rest of the tree with markers and crayons. You can be as creative as you would like. I'm going to color Zacchaeus's sash red. Like that. And I'll do Jesus's sash purple. Like that. 
You can then use a bit of tape or glue to stick Zacchaeus to the top of the tree right over here. So let me put a little bit more glue right there just to get him, make sure he's secure. And I can take Zacchaeus and stick him right in the tree. And voila, there we have it. I hope this craft will remind you of how Jesus loved Zacchaeus. Jesus' act of love changed Zacchaeus and filled him with joy. It made him want to do the right thing. He stopped stealing and he gave the money back four times over. Jesus' love for us is life-changing. I wonder how his love has changed your life. Well, it was nice to do this craft with you today. Now let's sign our ASL memory verse and sing our memory verse song together. Bye. Hi friends, welcome to ASL memory verse time. I'm here with Lammy today. Oh Lammy, I love you so much and you love me. Sharing love is one of the best things in the whole world. And this series that we're doing right now is on the heart of God being full of love. Let me, why don't you sit down over here and then we can learn this next verse together. Are you ready? First, I'll say it and then we'll sign it. Here we go. 1 John 4, 16. So we know that God loves us. We depend on it. God is love. Anyone who leads a life of love is joined to God, and God is joined to them. Okay, here we go. Now let's try and learn how to sign this together. So we know, put all your fingers together, and tap your temple of your head, so we know that God, we know that one, your hand, right down the middle of your face, we know that God loves this one we've done a lot, haven't we? Just two fists crossing over your chest. So we know that God loves us. Take your fingers like this and start on one side and make a big circle to the other side. We know that God loves us. We depend on it. Your two fingers come out for the word depend. Kind of go up and down, up and down. We depend on it. So we know that God loves us. We depend on it. God is love. Anyone who leads a life, the letter L coming up your body, right there, life. Anyone who leads a life of love, a life of love is joined. Joined is a fun one. Make a little cup in your hand. Two fingers here, going right into the cup. Right inside there. Join. Anyone who leads a life of love is joined to God. Joined to God. And God is joined to them. And God is joined to them. Okay, now let's try and put it all together. Here we go. 1 John 4.16 so we know that God loves us. We depend on it. God is love. Anyone who leads a life of love is joined to God. And God is joined to them. 1 John 4, 16. Great work, friends. Thanks, Lammy. It's great to share love together and to know that the heart of God is full of love. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, 10th Kids. It's Danielle and Santa back again for another memory verse song. So let's sing loud as we sing about God's loving heart. Are you ready, Santa? Here we go.
again. Here we go. So we know that God loves us. We depend on Him. God is love. Anyone who lives a life of love is joy to God. And God is joy to them. Anyone who leads a life of love is joy to God. And God is joy to them. Ready for the la 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 la? God is la 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 kids we'll see you next time bye as we say our goodbyes may we remember that jesus loves us and may his love change your hearts and fill them with joy see you next time 10th kids bye